Tonight, the Douglas County Health Department is investigating recent dog deaths at a local park. Those deaths reportedly happened within two weeks of one another after visiting Newland Meadows Park. That park is located in Parker near Chambers and Newland Gulch Boulevard. This weekend, our Olivia Young talked to one of those dog owners. Tonight, your Douglas County reporter Connor McHugh is back at that park. And Connor, officials still don't have any answers. Yeah, Michael, we're told health officials and people with the HOA here have scoured this park, but have not been able to determine what could have led to some of these deaths or even how that could tie back to this park. But until then, until they get to that point, the area remains closed and people are steering clear. As the rain cleared for a few hours Monday, Addison Quintana was among many people sneaking in a walk, a routine she, Nala, and Mr. Pup Pup have grown accustomed to for years. I try to walk them every like two to three hours, also gets me up. Typically, the trio spans multiple paths and parks, but not anymore. And lately, they aren't alone. I love these guys and, you know, I want to minimize any kind of risk. Down the street, caution tape and clothes signs surround this park, a place the HOA says four dogs visited recently and later died. The first was Sophie, a white lab who suddenly had trouble standing and had to be put down. Neighbors say another dog later collapsed while running in the park and two others died of seizures. It's completely, I think, got everyone on, on edge. The county health department is investigating the recent incidents, but so far hasn't found any possible substances or evidence the deaths are connected to the park. And without a necropsy, answers could remain few and far between. To me, the cases sound like they could be completely unrelated. Dr. Lisa Sanborn is the medical director at VCA Douglas County. She says blue-green algae and LSD or fentanyl in high doses can cause similar symptoms in dogs, but not so suddenly. I would caution people to try to stay calm because it's also possible that these four cases just happen to be really unfortunate and sad events that occurred in a close proximity. Now, the HOA declined to speak with us on camera today, but we did get an updated statement from the Douglas County Health Department that first really acknowledges the grief and pain some of these pet owners are feeling, but goes on to say, quote, we continue to work with the Newland Gulch HOA to determine if there is a naturally occurring substance in the park or if the dogs had been exposed to a man-made synthetic toxin that was ingested there. In the absence of veterinary test results, uh, there is no way to conclusively determine the cause of death. All right, Connor, obviously a very, very tough story. Thank you so much for covering that for us tonight. As your Douglas County reporter, Connor covers Larkspur, Lone Tree, and everything in between. If you have a story for him, you can call the number on your screen or reach out to him through our website.